Hello, thank you for joining us for another learning module to help you maximize the efficiency of Flex MLS, MLS SAZ. This one's the one stop search field, which is located next to Flex MLS. As you have likely noticed on the MLS SAZ YouTube page, there are just a series of quick videos. They've all been revised since um, the end of December and beginning of 2020. So please go ahead and feel free to watch absolutely any topic. And then if you still don't find what you need, go ahead and give tech support a call at 382-8800. I'm Beth Ann, your training specialist. I'm going to jump right over and share my screen so we can be in flex. People often ask, what is the difference between this search field and a quick search? I'm going to go back into my master because I was in a special template. So I'll go back to residential for you. There is a module on how to create your own templates. And the quick search is used when you have criteria of property. This quick search is for you to find specific properties. This one-stop shop, as it says, you can enter an address, um, MLS number are the best two choices to enter into this one-stop shop. Often used when you've received an interested seller and you need to see if the house has ever been in MLS before. That's the most frequent use of this, or to create a CMA, so you have the details of the last MLS in front of you. Let's go ahead and type in this address of 12355. Sure enough, it's the North Fallen Shadows, so we see it has been an MLS. The real key with this is to click New Tab so that your listing opens in a separate screen. And on this screen, you can go into Quick Search. Because as you are doing CMAs, you want to be able to view that listing for the square footage, bathrooms, your built, etc., or you're looking for a similar home uh, because they this isn't quite their home, but you're looking for other homes in the area that match these details. Notice how I have both the ability to do quick search because I used a new tab. Let me show you one more time because you can actually open. Let's go to 3024. And these are simply random closed properties I have chosen. Here it is on East Mabel, and I will open in a new tab. So I do have the Mabel open. I have the one on Fallen Shadows open. And I have the ability to be working in Quick Search. That's one dynamic way. Now sometimes you're going to put an address in and you will see it did not come up quickly because it has not been in MLS. That's when you could begin with your tax search field. You then will get the basics of at least what the assessor says. So think of this as a one-stop shop. Remember, you can also enter an MLS number that you're looking for quickly. So we'll do the two one, let's do this one for Fallen Shadows, two four zero six one. And sure enough, I happen to know a previous MLS number, so when I hit New Tab, I have Fallen Shadows opened with an expire listing of the past. Of course, you have history, and if you want the newest one, you just click on that appropriate MLS number. Terrific ways to use the extra fields. I'm going to close Mabel. I'm going to cause Fallen Shadows, Fallen Shadows, Fallen Shadows. So when we go to residential, typically you will come into the flex system like this, and you can even begin there. Then you could choose your quick search after you've got the property open. Terrific way to use it for an address 
or for an MLS number, we call it the one-stop shop. The beautiful part about it is that you have the ability to open it in a new tab. I'll open this one that's closed. So with having your uh, property open in a new tab, then you'll be able to also look at that property. All of this saves you printing and saves you time. I hope this is a quick tip that you will use that will save you time and save you money from expensive color copy details when you can see it on the screen and you can also be using the information in a quick search. I will say stellar selling to you today.